Ah, thanks, Jocelyn. Yeah, meaningful and chock full of wrestling was Bronson. It's been almost two years since we've had an open tournament. The thing I love about opens as a wrestling fan is the chaos of six mats going at the same time. The very same thing that makes opens hard to cover, but grateful to be in the chaos nonetheless as we get a peek at Gallop's own. Uh, Shandon Largo using the arm drag puts her opponent onto her back and would get that pinfall win. Alexis Allen with an impressive outing as well. Get the takedown later, cranking on that neck. The official would stop the movement, but wouldn't stop her from getting a 10 nothing tech fall. Men's wrestling in action, too. Freestyle and folk style on the same day. Boy, what a day. Nick Gallegos not only using his speed to get a hold of that single leg, how about the strength to lift the ankle up, gets the two. His opponent was looking for an escape. But watch out now. Coming into your living room, Gallegos still on the ride later from a neutral position. Watch the movement here. Gallegos flips his way into two. Eventually would get the pinfall. Wyatt Hepner here earning takedowns, also earning the 7-4 win. It didn't start the script for Johnny Maspoost getting taken down, but... He would turn it around using those heavy hips, burying his opponent's head. Uh, he was getting around for two there and and the six to four win. It didn't look like it was going to start well for Alexis Brulette it, it, with that double and deep, but she doesn't panic as they go down to the ground. Brulette just keeps that momentum going, ends up on top opponent. Uh, has her back to the mat. That's a pinfall win. So too was it for Katie Catalano. Her opponent reaching for air and then Catalano shoots that arm in there. Has some work to do for sure, but does come away with the fall. It was a bit of a shaky start for Lily Broderick, but she would put an abrupt end to the matchup when she gets a hold of that ankle lace right there. Now she's just turning her way into the tech fall. Uh, Slate Delsman would earn a 17-12 to win thanks in part to this motion. Still needs to come out of top, stays cool, looking up and eventually works her head out for the two. Another young wrestler to keep your eye on, Claire DeCunio using that super quick shot here. She was in a tough matchup though, finds the best way to get the two here, kind of looking for a lace there. Uh, later, using the single, I would be dead. If I was on bottom here, DeCunio uh, would win the match 4-2. to two. I've only got one clip of JoJo Harris because that's all it took. Earning the pinfall victory seconds into her match. Also a diver on the CMU swimming and diving team. Shout out to multi-sport athletes. And shout out to the hundreds of wrestlers I didn't get video of. A lot going on at Bronson. Tomorrow, CMU takes out all but one mat. Turns off all but one light for duels action. Both teams taking on Dixie State. Action starts at 11 a.m. In the meantime, that's all the time we have for sports. For Jocelyn Stafford, I'm Mike Kretz, and we'll see you then.